Today I'm reviewing cooling towels in general, but specifically two different cooling towels by Mission, the Endura Cool cooling towel. I have the 2017 model and the 2013 model here, and I'm gonna walk around and compare how they feel and compare to how they were back at home in Las Vegas. So let's check it out. All right, so the first part of this test is walking around here in Las Vegas. Current temperature now is about 85 degrees. Certainly not as hot as we usually get it here. I've had this one for four years now. I, I use it sometimes in the summertime. It does, it does help keep you cool because here in Las Vegas, the humidity is very low, under 10% typically. But the only problem here in Las Vegas when it's that dry is that it dries out faster. I have the old one and the new one. Both are wrapped around my neck in different places. I'm trying to see if there's any significant difference between the two. So this is the first part of my test is here in Las Vegas, kind of as a control test. I have a, I already have a pretty good experience with these. I know that in the warmth of Las Vegas, they work pretty well. My next test is about 2,700 miles from here. We're heading off to Maui tomorrow. I'm taking these with me, both of them. I'm gonna see how well they work there in a much more humid climate. Have a feeling things are gonna be a lot different. For right now, my, uh, my neck is nice and cool. The rest of me, I can't say so much. The other thing is you're gonna, get, you're gonna get this kind of thing. If you don't mind having like wet spots on your shirt, that is apt to happen if you wear one of these. If you're walking around outside in the summertime, you probably don't mind so much. The cost of the cooling towel in 2013 was $15. Cost of the cooling towel 2017, fifteen dollars. I'm not detecting much difference right now. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to or not. But right now they're both they're both staying cool, they're both staying moist. I'm looking forward to going to Hawaii not just to test these towels because I'm going to Hawaii, but it'll be interesting to see how these hold up there in that humid heat. What's interesting though is when you take the cooling towel from a dry climate like Las Vegas somewhere else. How about a nice humid climate? All right, I've got these two cooling towels. I'm gonna get them both wet. And here in Hana, Hawaii, it's quite warm and humid. And let's see if there's a difference. I'm gonna get them wet in the pool right here. Gonna wring this out. Wring it out. All right, how cool do I look now? 2013 towel around my neck, 2017 towel on my head. The reason I have two different kind of towels because I wanted to see if this towel changed over the years. Packaging changed, so I didn't know if the actual towel itself changed. I also thought it'd be good to compare the two just to see if there was any difference between the two. Maybe the older one's better, I don't know. So I've soaked them both in the pool. I rang them both out, I snapped them, and now I'm wearing them. I'm gonna take a walk out here. The problem that when you have them in the arid climate of Las Vegas is that they tend to dry out too fast. I mean, both these towels work by the principle of evaporation. As the water evaporates, it cools when it's touching your skin. Now, in a dry climate, there's a lot faster evaporation. And that's a good thing because it'll keep you cool. But when it's too dry, it evaporates too quickly, towel dries out. I've used this towel in the summertime. It doesn't last more than about a half an hour before it gets too, really, it's too uh, dry to make much of a difference. Here in Hawaii, where it's pretty humid, I don't think it's going to dry out, but I also don't know how well the evaporation is going to kick in and cool me off. How cool is this? And the yard keeps going. There's even a chicken coop over there. Now right now, the one on my neck doesn't feel cool at all anymore. It seems like it's, it's just a wet towel. It doesn't feel like a cool wet towel. Uh, in Las Vegas, when I walk around with it on, which I do sometimes, it, it feels cool as long as it stays uh, moist, but it dries out quickly. See, look, that's, that feels warm. Where it's touching my head, that's not even cool. So you're supposed to re-snap it and put it back on. That was only, what, five minutes? I don't want to keep re-snapping my towel every five minutes. I don't have to do that in Las Vegas. I don't have to re-snap it hardly at all because it stays cool because of evaporation. That begs the question as to whether you really need a special towel to cool off or any towel will work. Consumer Reports did a study a couple years ago on these cooling towels. Actually, it wasn't a study. They did a test. They put the cooling towels out in a regular dish towel, and they had these fancy gadgets measuring the temperature of the towels over time, and they didn't really find a significant difference between the cooling towels and regular dish towel. 
The only thing I'll say is that the microfiber towels seem to hold the moisture in a little bit better than like a cotton. These are made out of 90% polyester and 10% nylon, so it, it seems to hold the water a little bit better than a dish towel but, or hand towel or bath towel, but I don't know if 15 to $20 is really worth it unless you care about the style. They are more stylish at least. I'm gonna put it on inside out, see if, if the other surface feels differently. The one against my neck just seems like it just warmed up. It didn't, it didn't really evaporate, it didn't really cool off. I'm walking back up to the house now, and at this point I really just have two warm, damp towels on me. I don't really feel a great deal of cooling, but it is pretty humid here. The humidity is pretty high. So here I am in Lahaina at the Banyan Tree, which is a great place to hang out. And I've got my 2017 Mission uh, Endure Cool cooling towel. I've had it on for about an hour. It's still wet and it's still keeping me cool. The humidity here currently is about 60%, which is a little bit high, but not too high, I don't think. So I think that when you get the humidity from this level down to probably the maybe the 20s or 30s, it's gonna work pretty well. But when you've got it really low or really high, it's gonna dry out too fast or it's not gonna work at all. But in this environment, at the Banyan Tree in Lahaina in Maui, it's doing really well. I've had it for, like I said, about an hour. It's still cool, still a little bit moist. So right now, I'm pretty happy with it in this environment. So I've got my two towels here, the 2013 and the 2017 versions. If you can see, they're very similar. As I try to compare the two of these, it looks like the material has gotten a little bit softer and velvetier. Uh, and the one advantage this might have over a regular towel is that it's softer than a regular towel, so it would probably be more comfortable on your neck. Another thing I noticed is that if you turn them over back then, it looked basically the same. Here the material has this fancy pattern on it. So I, I think they may have upgraded the softness and the quality of the towel since then, which is good mainly for comfort. I don't know if it makes it more absorbent or not but I do think it, do, it has improved a little bit over the last four years. So in the end, the cooling towels may work for you, especially if you don't live in a climate that's too arid or too humid. If you're somewhere in between, you have your best chance of making it work. Now, I'm not sure that there's a significant advantage with a cooling towel over a regular towel, other than perhaps comfort of the cloth and maybe in the style, but that's up to you to decide. Have you used a product like this? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.